minutes after that Michigan State game. I know the coach on the radio was pretty disappointed with just the way that the offensive struggles kind of carried over with the defensive effort. How, how's the bounce back been the last few days? Yeah, I mean, obviously there's been a pretty bad taste in our mouths the last few days. Um, and that's a collective feeling, you know, each and every one of us have that. And um, so we're just excited to, to be able to, you know, go out. And um, obviously it's been um, a good two days of prep this week. And um, we're just excited to, to get that taste out of our mouths and go out and show what we can do. What uh, sticks out to you about Minnesota when you've kind of scouted them? Um, their length across the board. Um, Battle's a really good shooter obviously um so i mean we just gotta the, the main thing is it's about us um obviously in in college basketball there's a lot of scouting and stuff like that but at the end of the day it's about us and and um, what we want to do and um accomplish saturday morning um and and we're ready for for that as a leader of this team how do you mentally keep your team's minds right and on to the next game ahead and not looking at the past yeah i think just living in the moment in the present um, it's really hard to do in college basketball. It's a, it's a grind of a season. Uh, but, yeah, we can't look too far in the future, too far in the past. Um, just be where our feet are at, um, something that I try to try to preach, I guess, um, to the guys sometimes. Just um, it's, it's just to stay in the moment, um, enjoy each day we get of, of college basketball because it's a privilege to play this. And, I mean, there's people that would t die to be on our position. Um, and just, you know, going forward, we just want to take it day by day. I'm sure you think you guys can shoot it at a higher clip than you have. Um, what, what do you do as one of the leaders, I, I get, or do you do anything to encourage guys just, you know, who you've seen probably fill it up in practice to, like, you can do this, you know, or what, what's, what's sort of your... Just stay I, positive. I talk through that, yeah. Just stay positive. Um, like you said, I mean, I've, I've seen guys absolutely go off and practice some some really impressive stuff and I know it's coming um, we know as a group you know we we have this program is built off of trust um, and that's from the top to the bottom um, we all trust each other um, and we know it's coming um, we're just you know taking it day by day like I said and and not getting um, satisfied or dissatisfied with results and stuff like that just take it you know a day by day process and and keep working hard and um, we know the floodgates will open sooner or later with that, with the free throws, you know, where's the, the line between focusing on it to try to pick that up, but also not making it become like too big of an issue to where you're overthinking about yeah. it maybe? Yeah, I mean, I think free throws are 95% mental. Um, and it's, you know, you can shoot however many free throws a day, but you can't really simulate how it feels, I guess, in a game situation. Um, so. I think it's it's more just getting your mind right. Um, obviously, we, we shoot a lot of free throws in practice. I mean, we're working on it day in and day out. Um, but like I said, it's hard to simulate um, what it's like to feel that in a game. Um, so just making sure our minds are right before games.